Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Halloween Decorate With Me Part 1. We're going to be decorating my living room, my mantle, my shelving, lots of Halloween inspiration in this video. I'm also going to be sharing a kids dessert charcuterie board, which would be perfect for Halloween. Let's get started. Getting started on the fireplace, I usually start with the mantle whenever I'm seasonally decorating. It just helps me and anchors the room because it is such a focal point. So I'm starting here, just giving it a good wipe down. And then I'm gonna go in with these awesome bats. These are from Amazon. This is my second year using them. And I absolutely love them. They're so realistic. They were under eight bucks here in Canada and I will have them linked down below for you guys. Before we go any further, I wanted to let you know that this video is in collaboration with my sweet, sweet friend Danny over at Danny Grace Daily. You guys will love her channel. She's a homeschooling mom to three. She lives in New York. She shares lots of organizing, seasonal home decor. She shares planning, motherhood, lifestyle, all of that. She is so sweet. And her whole channel is all about helping moms find joy in the season that we are in. I'm here for that. So please go over to her channel. I'll have her video and her channel linked down below for you guys. She's also going to be decorating her living room for Halloween. It looks like so much fun. I can't wait to watch. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Elizabeth. I'm a mom to three and I love sharing all things homemaking, creating a life on a budget, lots of DIYs, home decor motherhood and lifestyle i would love so much if you subscribed and joined our community here on youtube now i'm just going in and adding some creepy cloth i picked this up at dollar tree it is so inexpensive such an easy way to add halloween to any space I wanted the bats on the side of the fireplace to really be the focal point, so I knew I wanted to go light on the fireplace. And I just created two simple vignettes using some brass candlesticks that I thrifted. That black bottle you see is actually a DIY I did last year. It's just a Dollar Tree glass bottle. I painted it black and used a free printable. I'll try and find the printable and link it down below for you guys. And then I just added one side is a little potion bottle that I also DIY'd and I have a video, I'll link it down below where I created some different potion bottles. And then on this side, I have that skeleton, which is from Dollar Tree. I'm just adding in these cute little boxes that look like books. These are also from Dollar Tree. And then this super cute ghost garland. I love adding lights whenever I can. And I thought that this really added a fun effect and also made it a little bit more kiddish because I do have three kids and they loved it. This little potion bottle actually says it's for spells, so I just took some old vintage books and took some pages, rolled them up and put them in here, and I think it was a super cute effect. I'm so happy with how the mantle turned out. I think it's fun and creepy, but yet not too scary. So I'm really happy with it. Let me know down below what you guys think of the mantle. Moving on to the open shelving here in my living room, I'm just gonna give this a wipe, kind of shelf by shelf, and decorate it. I also wanted to mention if Halloween is not your thing, I have an entire fall playlist that I will link down below for you guys. I did a lot of fall decorating, so hopefully you can find some inspiration in those videos. I also just wanted to share my shirt. It's from Amazon. Hocus Pocus is my favorite movie ever when it comes to Halloween. Let me know down below what is yours. I was so inspired by these vintage books that I found at a thrift store that I knew I wanted to create like a little witch's potion vignette. So I'm using this old brass tray that I thrifted years ago. I'm using some of those potion bottles that I DIY'd in the video I mentioned. 
and then I'm also using some amber glass bottles as well just to bring in some of that deeper color that I have in other places of my home and I'm really happy with how this turned out I think it's so cute and wait until you see it styled with some of these other vintage pieces that witch's picture you see is actually a free printable. I just went to Google and typed free vintage witch picture and that was the least creepy one. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And then I just put it in a Dollar Tree frame that I painted with a little black acrylic paint. Just very lightly dry brushed it to make it look old and tarnished like the other brass pieces I was using. Moving on to the third shelf, and I know I've mentioned it before, but the way I style shelving is I try and repeat things on each level. So if I have something black and something glass and then something brass or gold, I try and repeat it just so that it all looks cohesive. We're both getting out of line. Mm -hmm. Now say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you. Here is a look at the shelves all completed. I love how this turned out. I was going for a vintage witch look and I feel like I was able to get that look by not spending a lot of money, which is always a plus. That cute little witch's picture and then that lamp was a thrift find. I love this little witch potion area I created here and I really just wanted it to feel like a witch would come here and like find spells and mix them up. I also have some goodies down here. I love that little spider candle that's from the Dollar Tree. And if you have any questions where anything is from, let me know down below and I will definitely tell you. Moving on to this little console table, I'm just gonna give it a good wipe and I love how this little area turned out. I can't wait to show you. Okay, true story, this phone that I'm about to decorate was actually inspired by my son. The Haunted Mansion is one of our favorite rides at Disney World and he created a little Haunted Mansion faux ride for my daughter and my son in the basement and like made it spooky for them. And this was one of his props, so I totally took this idea from him and I love it. It's just an old phone. This was actually my in-laws from years ago. I just put some faux spiderweb on it and I think it turned out really cool. And then over here in this planter box, I took out all of my colored pumpkins. I left the white ones. I added a couple skulls from the Dollar Tree and then this big spider. This is a lantern from Dollar Tree. I just took out the plastic that was in it and I think it looks really simple and modern just like that. I can't believe that that was a dollar. And now I'm just adding bats to this section over here, just making it go up the wall into my basket area and I love it so much. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the Moving on to the couch, I just took off one of the fall pillows I had. It was the only one that was colored and I'm replacing it with this Boo pillow cover that I have from Amazon. I'll try and find it and link it down below for you guys. It's from a couple years ago and I'm just adding that to the couch and I think it's super cute and also just makes it a little bit more kid friendly. I like to keep the coffee table pretty minimal. I have three kids, so most of the time this coffee table is covered in toys and books and all the other things. So I like to keep just a few things and I'm using this piece of wood. I found it at the side of the road last year around Christmas time and I'm just using that to anchor this little vignette that I created. I just put a couple bats. These are actually salt and pepper shakers. I put them under this cloche with some 
wired lights from Dollar Tree just to create that whimsical effect. And I also added a couple of those Amazon bats to the top of the cloche. I just thought that it was simple and cute. And again, anytime I can add lights, I will add them. Here is a look at the living room at night when all the lights are dim. I love so much how this turned out. Although it is Halloween-y and creepy, it is also super cozy, which I think is great going into this fall season. Let me know down below what your favorite area was that I decorated today. And now let's switch things up and head into the kitchen and make the most delicious kids dessert charcuterie board. This is an awesome idea for Halloween night because things might look a little bit different where you are this year. So I wanted to share this to give you lots of time to plan if you are thinking of creating it. The first thing we're gonna make are these cute little Oreo spiders. These could not be more simple. All you're gonna do is take some pretzel sticks and break them into three pieces so you essentially get three legs per one pretzel stick you're going to take an oreo open it up you're going to press four so like the four legs into that oreo then you're going to take another oreo open it up and put the stuffing on top to create glue close it up add two edible eyes to the outside of the oreo i used caramel sauce to stick and there you go cute little spiders The next thing we're gonna create are these sweet little bats with Reese's peanut butter cups, eyes, and the Oreo pieces that we didn't use from the spiders. All you're gonna do is take the Oreo piece, cut it into four, so you get four wings out of one Oreo. Then you're just gonna take caramel sauce, put it on the top of the Reese's peanut butter cup, and put down the two triangles, so the two wings, and then the eyes right in the middle, and you have yourself the cutest little chocolate bats. The next thing we're gonna make could not be more simple. These are little brooms, and all you're gonna do is take a Reese's peanut butter cup and a pretzel stick, press the pretzel stick into the top of the peanut butter cup, and you have yourself the perfect broom. The next treat could not be more simple. You're just gonna need Oreos, some sprinkles, and then some caramel sauce. Just take the caramel sauce, put it on the outside of the Oreo, dip the Oreo in the sprinkles, and you have yourself a really fancy Oreo cookie. This was actually a lot of the kids' favorites. The next thing we're gonna make are these little ghosts. You're just gonna need some yogurt-covered pretzels and some eyes dip them in some caramel sauce, and it honestly makes the perfect ghost. The last treat I'm gonna share with you is so simple. You're just gonna need some chocolate covered cookies, some almond slices, and you're just going to use some caramel sauce to stick those to the top, and they look like a little chocolate finger, which is perfect for Halloween. Then we're just gonna arrange everything on the board, and to do that, all I did was layer. So I took regular Oreos and I layered them underneath the spider Oreos, and I did the same thing for the ghosts. I just took the leftover yogurt-covered pretzels and put them underneath, and then I put the ghost pretzels on top. I also did the same thing for the bats. I just did regular Reese's cups on the bottom and then the bats on top, and then I layered in the brooms, and then I decided that I needed to add some fruit to cancel out all of the sugar. So I'm just adding some beautiful fruit, some strawberries and raspberries, these beautiful grapes. I also went in and added some green grapes. And then I made cute little pumpkins out of these tangerines by just taking some leftover pretzel pieces and popping it in the top. This was such a hit with the kids. I highly recommend it. And if you are having to miss Halloween night, trick or treating, I think this is the perfect thing to serve to your littles to enjoy Halloween night together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some ideas, inspiration when it comes to decorating for Halloween. I'm so excited to share the rest of my Halloween decor with you. That video will be out next week. 
don't forget to check out Danny's video and her channel. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.